All right, I'm gonna show you yet another example of state-enforced atheist tyranny over in China. You see, atheism is bondage. Atheism is tyranny. Atheism is slavery, essentially. Atheism is authoritarianism. That's simple. And China and North Korea, which are both nations that have state-enforced atheism, prove that, okay? I'm gonna read you this article from the Christian Post about four Christians in China who are facing, facing prison sentences for selling audio Bibles online. This is what happens when you don't have church-state separation. Okay, atheists, true atheists, don't like church-state separation because it prevents it prevents the government from doing stuff like this. See, this is what happens when you don't have that separation of church and state. The atheists can get all tyrannical like this. I'm going to read you this article. It says, Chinese authorities arrested four Christians for selling audio Bibles as part of a government campaign to, quote, eradicate pornography and illegal publications. The Christians now face a hefty prison sentences. Religious Liberty magazine Ritter Winter reports that the four Christians, Fu Exjian, hope I'm saying that right, Deng Taeyong, Han Li, and Feng Quinheo, worked at a company called uh, Life Tree Culture Communications Co. Ltd., which was founded in 2011 in the province of Gungong, Gundong. Hope I'm saying that right. The believers sold electronic eunuchs that had the Bible preloaded on them. They were arrested on July 2nd on charges of, quote, illegal business operations. Absolutely tyrannical, but what do you expect from atheism? Like Psalms 14.1 and Psalms 53.1 says, The fool has said in his heart there is no God. Corrupt are they, they have done abominable iniquity. Paraphrasing, of course, but this is proof of that. Atheism is foolish. Atheism is an abominable iniquity. Continuing. The Christians have another court hearing on December 9th, according to the International Christian Concern. Authorities are seeking harsh sentences for the accused, which the suggested sentence for Fu being five years in prison, Deng as a company supervisor served three years in prison and pay a fine, and Fang as a technician also serve, to also serve three years in prison and pay a fine, while Han as the accountant, accountant to serve 18 months and pay a fine. International Christian Concern notes that Life Tree Culture Communications Co. is, quote, illegally established company, but if China's, quote, government wants to criminalize you, it, do it does not need a reason, unquote. Quote, the hefty sentences against these Christians are used to scare other Christians so that they would not dare sell to sell the Bibles without going through state-sanctioned churches, unquote. State-sanctioned churches, exactly. This is what happens when you don't have church-state separation. You see, state-enforced atheism and church-state separation are two very different things, okay? State-enforced atheism is tyranny. State-enforced atheism is uh, barbaric. When you have church-state separation, it protects freedom, it protects liberty from tyrannical atheist tyranny like this. That's simple. Atheism is authoritarianism. Funny how they call themselves free thinkers, yet they're not letting Christians think freely, they're not letting other religious people like Buddhists and whatever think freely in China. So much for being free thinkers. Atheism is a sci-fi death call. That's all it is. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Just more examples of state-enforced atheist tyranny over in China. So don't be deceived by atheism. I myself am actually a former atheist. I left atheism when I was in my teens and I became a Christian, got saved, got born again, and never been happier since leaving the sci-fi death call of atheism. So, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.